Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, it's a triple Yeezy unboxing. This is the Yeezy Boost 350 Synth. Let's go! By the way guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we have a bunch of ongoing giveaways on the channel. First up, we're giving away four 1,000 peso gadget mystery box courtesy of our sponsor Pounded. Guys, check them out. The link can be found down below to that particular giveaway. Apart from that, we partnered up with Shoe Freak PH, one of my favorite online resellers of sneakers, to give away three amazing pairs of kicks, including a Nike React Element 87 collaboration with Undercover, a Nike Classic Nylon sneaker, as well as an Adidas Superstar 80s Prime Net. The details of those giveaways can be found down below, but to join, you have to be subscribed. So make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you follow me on Instagram. This unboxing is brought to you as well by Soul Academy. Please do follow them on Instagram. If you guys want to buy Yeezys for retail, make sure that you follow them on IG so that you can see the mechanics when they drop the announcement on how you can buy Yeezys like this for retail and not resale prices. So let's get started. Now, as you guys can see, there are three boxes because apparently Soul Academy is the exclusive, I don't know, like seller or distributor of the kids and infant sizes of the Yeezy 350 Boost Synth. To be able to buy these pairs, you have to check out their specialty store called Soul Mini. The link to their Instagram can be found down below as well. So if you want a kid to hype them up, I don't know if you want to do that, but if you do, <laughs> that'd be fun though. If I had probably had a kid, I'd probably do that a lot. But anyway, if you guys want to hype beast your kid up a bit, or if you just want to give them a nice pair of sneakers for their birthday or for whatever, make sure that you guys follow Soul Mini. Now, I will be unboxing the smaller sneakers last, but let's get to the big one, my size first. This, I think, is like the exclusive region regional release for Asia and the Philippines. There are two other sneakers out there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them and feature them on the channel because, frankly, there's so many Yeezys lately and I still have to get my hands on the Yeezy 700 Tefra V2s. But anyway, as you guys can see, comes in your typical Yeezy 350 Boost, Yeezy Boost 350 box, a brown carton with 350 printed on top details of which can be found down below one striking like issue or not issue like noticeable difference is the price tag this one sells for 13,000 pesos where the usual easy would sell for like 11,000 I think 500 11,495 apparently the price increase is due to the reflective laces that they put in this pair which I, I I'm kind of find weird because the previous model the black one already had the reflective laces anyway and it's still sold for 11495 So it's maybe because they just want to jack the prices up a bit because of the demand. Who knows? I don't really, well, I don't really know. So but anyway, let's slide the box open. You have your typical tissue paper and then you get to, boom, the sneaker and a lot of cat hair that just went into my nose. The Yeezy Boost 350 Synth had the same effect on me when I first saw the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clays. When I first saw the Clays online, I was like, eh, meh. Not too happy and not probably excited, probably won't buy it. It's not something that I would want to add into my collection. But man, when I saw it in person, when I saw it on feet on somebody, I just had to get it because the shock factor of the overall design of the orange, the blues, and the, 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 the clay, uh, the browns just really had me hooked. And it's pretty much the same with this one. When I first saw the picture of the Yeezy Boost 350 Synth, I was like, hmm. Not, it kind of bland. I mean, it just looked like some sort of weird sesame. But man, it looks so much better in hand. And I think that's like the shock factor of Yeezys and the brilliance behind Kanye's design. And taste, it's not something that you would usually expect. It's not something that you would usually, you know, see in sneakers. And it's always a pleasant, shocking, a bit, a bit shocking surprise. And that's what you get with this one. Now, I tried as much as I can to research on the synth colorway, but really couldn't find anything on it. So if you guys know more on the synth, as a colorway, please do let me know in the comment section down below and share with everybody out there. But as you guys can see, it's some sort of like light brownish, 
almost purplish color. Uh, as you guys can see here, the, the lighter and the darker shades are kind of mixed to give it good character. It still has the translucent slipe along the lateral side of the shoe. You still have the boost encased in the midsole, making it a really comfortable sneaker, especially combined with the Adidas insole with that hotel slipper vibe that gives that you get with the prime knit upper of the shoe. How is this sneaker on feet? Well, simply put, it is like your Easy 350 Boost V2s. It is comfortable. You do get that hotel slipper vibe and when it comes to sizing again i would suggest that you guys consider going half a size up and if you have a wide feet you might even want to consider going a full size up especially since the v2s are a bit tighter at least in my experience especially the new ones ever since they came out with came out with the sesames they're they're kind of a bit tighter so i i before i'd go with the true to size especially with my oxford pants and the first generation yeezys but with the latest generations i really just had to go half a size up so do i recommend the easy boost 350 v2 synth uh well if you haven't got the pair yet at least you now have another chance to pick one up for retail and th i think that's the beauty of the multiple yeezy releases that we've been seeing in the last few months it gives everybody a chance to actually own a pair of yeezys without paying resale so if you missed your chance on the previous releases if you weren't able to win the black statics if you weren't able to win the hyperspaces if you weren't able to win all the other yeezys that came out this year at least you have another chance guys with this one and to be honest kind of looks good now good news to all of you i don't know if it's now i don't know if this is good news for all of you parents out there or if, well it may be good news if you want to give your kid shoes because soul mini an exclusive is the exclusive seller or distributor of the kids and infant model of the yeezy synth so if the obviously the bigger models won't fit your kids but hey if you want to hype them up a bit you now have options again make sure to follow soul mini on instagram so let's start things off with the infant so this is the smallest not the smallest size but this is like the smallest version of the easy so it, again it comes in that typical it's so cute look at that it's such a small box it's the easy 350 boost box a very small box box and if you slide it open it's the same experience guys you have the tissue paper and the, oh, <laughs> it's so cute i mean take a look at that it's just ridiculously amazingly insanely oh man it is adorable that is an adorable easy you know what if you if you want to if you're a serious easy collector if you don't have kids yet and you just want you know a collectible item this is really cute i mean oh ah, wow it's, it's it's just so cute but anyway this is the easy 350 uh easy boost 350 what do you call that uh infant in the synth colorway now this is kind of pricey though it does sell for 8300 pesos roughly 150 160 usd here in the philippines but man it it is just adorable so what i'll do is i'll set this aside first so we can do like a side by side of all three Yeezy. So again, that's the infant size. Now let's get to the kid size. So it is slightly bigger box, as you guys can see here, compared to the previous one. Still relatively smaller though, compared to the, the odd adult version. Again, same unboxing experience. You have the tissue paper, and then you get to the, it's still cute, you get to the actual sneaker. So just so for comparison, this is the kids version or the youth version. This is the infant model. So you do see the size difference of both sneakers right here. Now let's complete, complete the picture by getting the big one. So here you guys have it. This is the adult version. I think this is like the biggest size that came out in the Philippines, size 13. This is the kids version and you have the infant version. So you have three Yeezys here, different sizes for the entire family. So if you wanna be like the Yeezy family, you actually have that opportunity now because you can buy not just for you, you can buy for your young adult or young kid, and then you can buy for your baby. And for our Power Up Words of Wisdom for the day, I want to do a follow-up of the Power Up Words of Wisdom I did with my 40 million peso well I, i'm not sure if this video will come first or that one but i'm going to release a video or i probably have released a video where i talked about unboxing something that was worth 40 million pesos and what i want to talk to you guys about is the most important resource that you have 
which is your time. Now, a lot of applications today, such as Facebook, such as YouTube, and even the games, are all trying to get your attention and your time. They're trying to put in a lot of effort to be able to get you to be spend more time on their app, spend more time on their content, so that you don't spend your time in more productive things. Not because that they want to steal your productivity or anything. It's just that that their business model requires your attention for them to be able to monetize your stay in their platform. Now, there's nothing wrong with being on Facebook. There's nothing wrong with being on Instagram. There's nothing wrong with playing Mobile Legends. But the end of the day, it has to be all in moderation. Guys, if you want to, you know, generate more money, if you want to be more productive, you have to consider taking a look at your free time after work, such as your evenings, to come up with side hustles, rackets, and different types of activities so that you make more money. Now, if you don't want a side hustle, you don't want a racket, another thing you can do is during the evenings, invest in yourself. Get more higher paying skills. Get more skills so that you get promoted faster get more skills so that you can change jobs let's say you're a you're a bpo call center agent and you want a more high pay high paying salary that's not necessarily in the bpo sector then learn graphic design or coding during the evening learn photography during the evening learn something during the evening so eventually you can transition out of where you are now remember the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results so if you want to get out of where you are now if you want to change for the better in a big way try different things take a look at your current schedule take a look at your current day what can you change because for you to change something for you to have a better life for you have to have a distinctly different you you have to change something in you and you have to change whatever it is that you guys are doing this is just really cute I just I was just staring at it for a few minutes. Ah, oh, it's, it's so cute. But anyway, <laughs> that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog for today. Don't forget to watch the 40 million pesos unboxing if it already came out. If it hasn't come out yet, please do stay tuned for it. It should call follow after this video. I don't know which one comes first. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you, Soul Academy, for the partnership, guys. Make sure that you follow them on Instagram. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.